What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Without further ado, let's just do the bike reveal. Yeah, I got an Austrian bike. So um, let me explain myself. As you guys know that have followed me on the channel for a little bit, you understand that I am a true blue Yamaha guy. I love Yamaha. That is my bike of choice. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the story behind this bike. So originally, I was looking for a YZ125. In Utah, the market for a YZ125 is it's horrible. It's horrible. And I really wanted something with the, the SSS forks, um, 2006 and up, and I really wanted that aluminum frame. And to find that bike in, at a, in a price range that I was looking for and in a condition I was looking for, it just wasn't gonna happen. I had Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada on my list. I was willing to travel six, eight hours to get that bike, and I could not find one anywhere. So I either had to go with a steel frame with the old style forks and uh, go that route. And I just, I didn't really want to do a Honda. Um, there's a lot of guys doing Hondas out there. I didn't want to do that. I thought, man, I need to be different. I need to be different. So when I ran out of resources, as far as the 125 goes, the YZ, I just thought, you know what? What the heck? Let's go, let's go for an Austrian bike. Let's see what's out there. So I actually bought the cheapest KTM 125SX on Craigslist. This right here was a, I don't wanna say it was a steal, but it was a great deal considering what it was. So um, the story behind this bike, it has had multiple owners. Um, it's in great condition. Uh, it's got the original plastics on it, the original graphics on it. It's got, I'm pretty sure it's the original top end. It really looks like the original cylinder. So, and it may, it may have had a top end in it, but the jug is original. Um, it is uh, in, in really good condition. The wheels are not bent. The spokes are all there. Uh, as far as I can tell, the forks are straight. They're not bent. Everything looks good on them. Um, I mean, it's got the original seat cover on it, the original handlebars. It really has not been tampered with hardly at all, which is super exciting for me because when I'm looking for a used bike, I'm looking for something that is as OEM, as original as possible. That way I know somebody hasn't gone through it completely. Um, you know, it's not been a, uh, a um, you know, a learn to mechanic on bike for, for a teenage kid, you know. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but I just didn't want that bike. Uh, so um, I had a couple things on my list that I was looking for. I was looking for pretty much stock bike. You, um, you have a hard time finding those nowadays, especially dirt bikes. People just love to, they just love to modify them and make them their own. So um, I wanted to be completely stock. I needed straight and not bent wheels. Um, I needed a good functioning working suspension. Um, you'd be surprised how many bikes out there have been, uh, you know, flipped end over end and the forks are bent and you just don't know it. Um, I needed a good frame and subframe, those two things. Uh, a lot of subframes are bent from somebody wheeling it over or doing something like that. Um, and I sh I'm going to quit listing all this stuff off because I'm going to do a video separate of uh, what to look for in a used dirt bike because I think that's very important. Um, so this checked off all the boxes on my list, especially when I went to buy it and the guy had a bottom end crankshaft assembly and a Namira Technologies top end kit ready to go. So he was actually in the process, well, going to change out the um, crank and the top end. The reason being is, and I didn't find this out till I went to buy it, but it does not go into first gear. So the bike runs great, it works good, but it does not go into first gear. So um, he was gonna tear into the bottom end, uh, go through it, fix whatever the issue is. I'm sure it's something stupid, something simple. And, uh, um, rebuild it. And then he decided not to. And uh, I found this deal on um, our local classifieds here and picked it up. And to be totally honest with you, this is the cheapest 
125 on KSL on our classifieds, our local classifieds in Utah. Um, the reason being is I got a Wisco bottom end crankshaft assembly worth, I think it was, what was it, like $380 or something like that. And then my Namira top end kit, they come with it, um, a total of like $550 worth of brand new parts. So um, when I paid for this bike, I paid $2,000 for it, got $500 worth of rebuild parts. And so that really put my bike at $1,500. So I'm pretty excited with the purchase. Um, it has a ton of great reusable parts. I just need to clean them up and make them look nice. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's gonna be an awesome rebuild. So I, I really was looking for, like I said, a Yamaha, but I just couldn't find one. There's plenty of people doing um, CRs, the 125 and the 250 on YouTube, and I did not wanna, I didn't wanna go that route. I just wanted to go something different. So um, here we are. We got an Austrian bike, a KTM, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. Um, when I got the drone footage of the bike, I actually did take it for a ride and it rides really well. It rips pretty good. Uh, the suspension all works pretty well. It's, it's old suspension. I don't know as if it's ever had fork seals or if it's low on oil because it seems like the forks are low on oil. <laughs> seems like it could definitely use a rebuild, which we're going to do that anyway. Um, but I'm going to tear the bike down to the frame. I'm going to do the motor, the suspension, all new plastics hopefully new wheels, tire setup, new wheel and hub setup. Um, clean everything else up, swing arm, linkage, everything like that. Um, I'm gonna basically make this bike a better than stock um, bike when I'm done with it. So I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are. The themes I'm thinking about going with are the Tyler Rattray 2004 um, 125 championship bike that he won the MXGPs with. Um, or I'm going to go with a total blackout and gray theme. I'm really, I'm kind of caught in the middle right now. I know, I don't know which way to go. So, um, if you would leave, leave a comment below and tell me what you guys want to see. Do you want to see the Tyler Rattray theme or do you want to see a blackout bike? Cause I, I really want to do a blackout theme, but at the same time, I don't like a black bike only for the fact that when it gets dirty, it gets dirty and it's hard to keep clean, but um, I'm up for anything. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Are you excited? Are you not? Austrian bike versus YZ. What do you think? We're going to get to a build real quick here. So this is going to be a great winter project and I'm excited for you guys to follow along. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the video or subscribe to the channel. Um, share this with your friends. They're, they're, people are gonna love it. If you love bike builds, you're gonna love this. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.